Hello everyone, welcome to my videos on elementary differential equations. This is video number 3 for chapter 2. In this video, we will go through two more examples for the method of integrating factors. Now, this example, we have the equation t times y prime minus y equal t squared e to the negative t. And our job is to find the general solution. And here the equation comes with the restriction that t is bigger than zero. And the reason for this will become clear very soon. Okay, so as we have done before, the first step is to rewrite the equation into the normal form. So we want to make it 1 in front of y prime, therefore we divide the equation by t. Okay, and then we'll get y prime minus 1 over t from here, and the right hand side divided by t is t e to the negative t. And now, since we divided by t, we must require t not equal 0. And this is satisfied by this restriction here, t bigger than 0. And OK, now we can identify the function p and g. So p is in front of y, is negative 1 over t. And g is the right hand side, is t e to the negative t. Now we can compute the integrating factor mu using this formula, exponential of the integral of p and dt. So we plug in the t, negative 1 minus t, and we work out this integral, and this is just a negative natural log of t. And then exponential of that um, can be simplified by moving the negative sign to the power, so we get t to the power negative 1. And then and the exponential will cancel the negative log, and we'll just have t to the power negative 1, which is 1 over t. And finally, we can now form the solution by using the mu. The solution will be 1 over mu, which was t now, and then integral of mu times g, which we have the g from here. And then we see that 1 over t and t cancels. We just have to integrate the exponential function. And this gives us negative e to the negative t plus an arbitrary constant. And if we bother, we can distribute the t to both terms. We'll get negative t e to the negative t plus c times t. So this is a general solution. That is, it contains an arbitrary constant c. The constant could be determined later if you have the initial condition. Our next example is uh, a problem coming with the initial condition. So we have this equation, y prime minus one third of y equal e to the negative t. It comes with the initial condition y0 equals a. So we specify this a here so we can see how the solution depends on the a. And in the end, um, we wish to discuss the behavior of the solution y as t goes to infinity, and in particular, how does it depend on different values of a? Okay, so let's solve it first to compute the um, integrating factor mu of t. We see that we need to integrate this term here, which gives us negative one third t, and that's the exponent for my exponential function. And then we can plug in the formula and write out the general solution. So yt is negative mu to the negative 1, which is e to the 1 third of t in the integral. I will have mu times g. So g is this one, mu is here. 
and these two exponential functions can um, be combined into one term that is e to the power 4 over 3 and that can be easily integrated to get negative 3 over 4 e to the power negative 4 over 3 t okay and don't forget the arbitrary constant c here which we don't know yet now we can plug in the initial condition to find this c value and in particular how does this c depend on a okay so y zero so in this expression let's plug in t to be zero e to the zero which will be one and then here's e to the zero which will be one so i get negative four over three plus c so this is just one and then this quantity must equal to a okay and then moving this term to the other side of the equation we get c is a plus three over four okay then we can plug in the c value in the general solution c here is a plus three over four plug in and then um we could it would be advisable here to um, distribute this term into multiplying on both so multiply this with that and the one third minus four over three gives you negative one so you get this term e to the negative t and then a plus um, three over four is a number and this is then multiplied by this exponential function e to the power t over three okay so we know in the end we'll have to discuss the behavior of the solution as t goes to infinity so let's take a look at um, what is in the solution we see that the solution consists of two terms both exponential functions but very differently behaving the first term is an exponential decay and the second one is an exponential growth so for the first term the exponential decay is multiplied by a negative constant and here we know that as t goes to infinity this function will go to zero and the behavior of the second term here is more interesting this is a exponential growth term so if the co constant here shall be zero then this term has no effect and we know this term here with a positive constant in front will tend to plus infinity when t goes to infinity and finally if the constant here shall be negative then the whole term here will go to negative infinity as time go to infinity okay to summarize we have the summary written here so the first term behaves deterministically and then the second term the behavior would depend on the choice of a okay let's put it in if this constant is zero that is if a is negative three over four and then the solution goes to zero because this term is zero and if the constant is bigger than zero that is when a is bigger than negative three over four then the solution goes to infinity as t goes to infinity and finally if this constant is negative that is a is less than negative three over four then the solution goes to negative infinity as t goes to infinity we may also discuss the asymptotic behavior as t goes to negative infinity what will happen then here we see that as t goes to negative infinity this term will go to negative infinity because this goes to infinity but has a negative sign for the second term when t goes to negative infinity it goes to zero no matter what stays in front of it okay so 
combining these two, we see that as t goes to negative infinity, this term dominates, and the y goes to negative infinity um, for any values of a. Okay, so finally, um, I plotted the solution, um, many solutions for different values of uh, initial um, condition, y0. For different values here, it's a bit hard to see what it is because the scale is quite big, because it eventually blows up exponentially. So you see there is a choice of y0, which we know um, is negative 3 over 4, and there the solution will um, remain 0. And for all the initial condition above that, it eventually picks up and uh, blows up into plus infinity exponentially. And then if the initial condition is below that, then it goes down to negative infinity, as we see here. Okay. So then as t goes to negative infinity, and we see that all the solution, the, um, the, the term with the a plus um, 3 over 4 term um, will decay, and the solution is dominated by a negatively growing term, and it blows up to negative infinity for all initial values one can pick here. Okay, so um, that's all I have to say for this example, and um, I hope you enjoyed it, and we will have one more examples on the integrating factor in the next video. So I look forward to see you then.